Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or Note 9 and you have issues where it will not fast charge. I'm gonna give you guys about 10 solutions to get your Note 8 or Note 9 up and running right now so we can start fast charging. Now this video is only if you're using a cable and it's not fast charging. If you're using a uh, wireless Qi pad, this is gonna be in another video if it's not fast wirelessly charging. Anyways, we're using a cable here. So first thing is what you wanna do is you need to enable the fast cable charging onto the phone here. So grab your phone, swipe down the notifications, then you wanna go ahead and you wanna tap on the gear icon, you wanna go directly into your settings here, and then go down, and we wanna go down to where it says device care, tap on that, and now we wanna tap on battery. Tap on battery. Now, top right hand side, you see those three dots right there? Tap on those three dots, and we're gonna tap on settings right there, and then from here, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And what do you know, if you look down here, we have two options, okay? We have the fast cable charging and the wireless charging is down here. Anyways, for this video, we're only talking about the fast cable charging. Okay, so obviously you have to have this enabled, okay? Now, if you already have it enabled and it's still not working when you plug it in, do this. Off, on, off, on, off, and then leave it back on, and then go ahead and Grab your cable and see if you get fast. Let me pop this in here. And let's see what, so it says charging. Now it turns to fast charging. Now, if it's still not working, one thing to note is you should have a cable that's working correctly. If you have one of the pins or anything in there that's defective, then it's not gonna be able to fast charge. It can only charge at standard at times. Also, another big thing is not only the cable, but you must look at the wall adapter, okay? Now this one here, is a adaptive fast charging for the Samsung phones. It is by Samsung, this one works great. But not only can you use these, there's a bunch of other brands that will work as well. Even this fast LG fast charger. I have a bunch of other chargers that are Qualcomm 2.0, 2.3 that will fast charge these phones. Uh, but if you, if you use a standard brick here, wall adapter, these will only charge at standard rates. Another thing to note too is if you got one of these Samsung bricks or wall adapters from eBay or whatnot, you may want to double check because I got a bunch of these in before and they're all fake. Okay, for some reason, when I plug these in, it only gives me the standard charging until I pull it out and put like a genuine Samsung in there, then I will get fast charge. Another important thing is you need to make sure that it's plugged in all the way, okay? So here's a wall adapter here. It, it, if it's in like three quarters of the way, it's, it's still gonna charge, but it's gonna charge the standard rate. You need to push that all the way in, okay? Also, on the wall adapter here, sometimes one wall socket will not charge it fast. You need to try a different wall socket somewhere else. Another thing to note too is I had some cables that were kind of uh, defective. It would charge regular uh, standard charging when I have it in like this. But sometimes when I pull it out and I flip it over and then I plug it in, then it'll give me fast charging. But that indicates basically an issue with your cable or it could be the actual charging port inside here. Now, if your hardware is correct and you're still having issues where it cannot fast charge, another thing that you can try is go ahead and grab yourself a toothbrush and it's possible that you have like lint, dirt, even debris that's stuck in your charging port here. Simply grab a toothbrush here or something similar and kind of just go in there and do a little cleaning here like this. Guys, note that if anything happens to your phone, I am not responsible for it. Give it a little clean and blow it. Give it a little clean again. Blow it, give it a little clean again. And then go ahead and grab your cable, pop it in there and see if you get fast charging. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. So the next thing that you wanna try if it's still not working is you basically wanna wipe your cache partition. Wiping the cache partition only deletes temporary files, okay? And usually when you wipe the cache partition, if you have other issues with the phone where it starts becoming laggy or it freezes and whatnot, a lot of times uh, just simply wiping the cache partition will clear that up as well. Anyways, how do you clear the cache partition? It's very simple. So first thing you gotta do is go ahead and power your Note 8 or Note 9 down. Wait till it's completely off. And once it is complete, completely off, now it's going to do require a three key combination. We need to press and hold the same time, the volume up, the Bixby, and the power button. We want to hold 
three buttons, press and hold simultaneously and wait till we see the Samsung logo and then let go and this should boot us into the Android recovery menu. And then from there we can go ahead and do, uh, we can go ahead and wipe a uh, cache partition. So again, phone is off, volume up, big speed button and the power button, okay? Ready? One, same time, one, two, three, press and hold. With Samsung logo pops up here. Now I can go ahead and let go and hopefully this boots this up into the Android recovery. If not, then we gotta do it again. Okay, it got us in here. Now give this a second here. Okay, I'm on a no command here. Okay, no problem. Let's try the uh, volume up button here and see what happens. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're in the Android recovery. And if you look down here, it says wipe cache partition. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down. You can simply use the volume rockers to move up and down. So use the volume down and we're going to go down, down. We're going to go down to where it says wipe cache partition. To select it, press the power button. Okay, now it says basically, are you sure you want to do this? This cannot be undone. Go to yes, volume down to yes, and then to select it, Click on power and this will be like one second. You can see, okay, cache wipe is already complete. That was really fast. And then it brings you back up to the uh, reboot system now. So you wanna go ahead and reboot. Go ahead and press on the power button to select it. Wait for this to reboot back up. Once it's back up and running, go ahead and grab your cable, pop it in there and you should have fast charging now. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so your phone is still not fast charging. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna force our Note 8 or Note 9 to restart. Force restart, very simple. With the phone on here, and this is not gonna delete anything, okay? You're basically restarting it uh, as if like you had a computer and you press and hold the power button and it automatically turns off like that. We're not gonna do the standard way of bringing the power menu up. Simply, we're gonna go ahead and reboot it while the phone is on just like this. And that requires a two key combination the volume down button and the power button. You wanna press and hold both buttons at the same time and wait till we see the Samsung logo appear. Okay, so the phone is on right now, as you can see. Now let's do it together. Volume down, power button, same time. Ready, one, two, three, press and hold. Do not let go until we see that Samsung logo appear. I'm still holding on to both the buttons here, waiting for that Samsung logo to appear. It's gonna come, hold on. Well, wow, this is taking a long time here. Oh, there it is. Well, wow, that took a while. Anyways, go ahead and wait for the phone to boot back up. Then grab your cable, pop it in there, and you should have fast charging. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so the final step I have for you, and this will work for some of you guys as well, is we're gonna reset everything, the settings back to default, okay? And this is not a factory reset. You're not gonna lose uh, photos or videos or the apps that you downloaded. Anyways, go ahead and go into your settings here. You can slide down, click on the gear icon right there. And then from here, you wanna scroll down and we wanna go to general management. Tap on that and then we wanna tap on reset, okay? So take note again, it's gonna be the first one, okay? We're not, again, we're not doing a uh, factory reset we're doing a reset settings here. So let me tap on that and I'll quickly read this to you. Your phone will be reset to its default settings except the security, language, and account settings. Any customizations you made to your phone such as ringtone and do not disturb settings will be discarded. Your personal data and the settings of the downloaded apps won't be affected, okay? So take note of that. So simply go ahead and press on reset here and then what will happen, your phone will reboot once it's back up and running, then go ahead and grab your cable and pop that in there and you should have fast charging. Now guys, let me know what step worked for you. Sometimes it's a combination of two or three steps that gets everything back and running. And that's pretty much it. Any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you on the next one.